hello friends in this video I'll be discussing about the transcription termination by rho protein and it is a very interesting one that this is my DNA double helix this is my five prime end this is my three prime end this is my three prime end this is my five prime end and there is a long stretch of AA at the end of this termination sequence and this is my mRNA this is my 5 prime end and here I'll find a lot of U in between the A and the mRNA and in case of this DNA the partner DNA there will be T so it will form bond it will form double bond in between them it will form double bond in between them because we know that A form double bond with the U and now what happens there is a protein called a rho and this rho protein binds somewhere up to here in the mRNA uh, which is not at the end of this mRNA and this rho has got two function one is the ATP hydrolysis and the another one is uh, the helicase activity helicase activity now what happens that when it moves to when when the uh, when this protein is bound to somewhere here downstream to the end of this mRNA it moves towards the RNA DNA hybridization region by uh, the process of translocation where this ATP is needed so with the ATP hydrolysis it translocates up to this region let me draw it here so here is my protein now uh, now what happens it now activates its helicase activity and it breaks the bond in between A and U and it releases the mRNA from the DNA so now when the mRNA has been released here this is my mRNA this is my U stretch of the mRNA and then uh, this template DNA which was working uh, for this uh, during this transcription it is released from this RNA so it again renaturates with its original partner so uh, this was about the rho dependent uh, termination of the transcription and I will see you in the next video with the transcription you the in the eukaryotes so stay tuned thank you